Hello, my dear students. Welcome to English 808, Unit 9 for Vocational Education. We are going to do Lesson 7 with writing a comparison and contrast paragraph. Moving to the lesson objectives of today, we are going to achieve three main objectives by the end of this lesson. The first one is to identify words used to compare and contrast. Number two, to identify the layout of compare and contrast paragraph. Eventually, we will write a compare and contrast paragraph. Now, before I start, Maybe you were listening to me saying the word compare. What is comparing? What does it mean? Let's see. To note similarities or differences between two things. I will clarify that in an example. Pay attention. Both English and Arabic tests were easy to me. So, here I am indicating that I had two tests, Arabic and English, and both were easy. So, I am pointing similarities by using the word both. I am joining the two subjects together and I am stating that they were both easy. Now, let's see the differences. Winter lasts four months in Bahrain, whereas nine months in Turkey. So, am I stating the same point? Pay attention. No, I am talking about winter. In Bahrain, winter lasts only four months, while or whereas nine months in Turkey. So, there is a difference. In this case, I indicated the difference using the expression whereas. Now, let me go further in the words used to express similarities first. Both, as I have prev previously mentioned at the example, I said both Arabic and English tests were easy to me, so I'm joining two similar ideas. As well, or not either. For example, let me replace both at the first example with as well. I could say English test was very easy as well as Arabic. Similarly, again, it indicates the similar ideas. Likewise or like. These expressions use to express similarities. Now let's see what are the expressions which used to express comparison and contrasting. Whereas, as I have mentioned it at the first example about the winter, or while, different, in contrasting, however, or unlike. We will come to know them more with the next slides. Now, what are the suggested topics for a compare and contrast essay? Let me remind you once again, my dear students, this is a writing lesson. So, at the end of this lesson, you will come up with a writing paragraph. Let's see what are the suggested topics that I could use in compare and contrast essay. First one, arts versus sports. There are two different subjects or topics. I can write a paragraph comparing and contrasting between them or football versus volleyball. In this case, I can point out the number of players. They are both different. Which one is interesting? They are both different. So there are a lot of aspects that I can talk in this idea. Living in a city versus living in a village. Of course, there are a lot of ideas that I can mention in these two points. Comparison and contrast essay. Now, before I present the layout to you, my dear students, can you think what are the main things that I can put in a compare and contrast essay? 
or how many paragraphs I should have? Let's see together. This thing is common between all the writings. I have to start with an introduction, then a body, then a conclusion. But pay attention. The content of the introduction, the body, and the conclusion differs from a writing to another. So let's see the layout of compare and contrast essay or paragraph. In an introduction, I have to give a simple introduction about the two things that you're going to compare and contrast with. It has to be two things, pay attention. What, what is meant by two things? I clarify that and I give details in the body when I move to the second paragraph. I have to start with the similarities. I point out the similar things and then I have to point out the differences between the two things. Finally, in the conclusion, I have to summarize the whole thing. I summarize the ideas. Let's see the topic that we're going to write together. A comparison and contrast paragraph between two cities. Now, we are going to start with a diagram and I am recommending that to you students to do a diagram in order to make it easier for doing a writing. Let's see, what are the two cities that I have chosen? New York or NY, Los Angeles, which is LA. Let's see the diagram. Here is the diagram. Let me point out to this. Both and both shows the similarities between the two cities. Let me see, starting with NUSA, which means New York and Los Angeles are both in USA. They are both large, they both attract visitors, finally they are both costly. Now let's move to the differences, pay attention. Number one, in New York it has colder climate than Los Angeles which has warmer climate. The second point, New York is more populated while Los Angeles is less populated. Are you pointing out the differences? Let's see the last point. In New York, they use public transportation, while in Los Angeles, they use their personal cars. So yes, there are similarities and there are differences. Are you asking yourself, why am I pointing these in a diagram? Yes, we are doing a diagram in order to make it easier further for writing a paragraph about the two cities and comparing and contrasting between them. Let's start with the first paragraph, which is the introduction. I want you to give a brief introduction about the two cities. Let's see. New York City and Los Angeles are two cities in the United States of America. The cities are found in different states. New York City is in the state of New York, while Los Angeles is in the state of California. Now, this is a very simple, brief introduction about the two cities. Once we move to the second paragraph, we start with the similarities or the similar points. Similarities and differences in paragraph 2. I started with the similarities. Pay attention to the words highlighted in blue. They are the words indicate the similarities. Let's see together. New York and Los Angeles are both very large and populous. Likewise, pay attention. Likewise indicate similarities. Likewise, they attract thousands of visitors in spite of being costly to live in. While both, again, both cities have similarities, they are different in many aspects. I started the body with the similarities. Now let's move to the differences. New York City climate differs from the climate of Los Angeles. 
Now here I'm giving a general idea about the climate and then I have to be detailed and specify the differences between Los Angeles and uh, New York in the weather. In New York, the winter is frosty as you can do some winter activities such as ice skating and I'm done. Now let me see what is the difference. In contrast is an expression used to show the differences. In contrast, Los Angeles has a mild winter and a warm summer. So yes, did you point out, my dear student, there is a difference between the weather in New York and Los Angeles. Let me go on. Furthermore, NY, which is New York, and LA, which is Los Angeles, have populations that have significant differences. Again, pay attention. I am just generalizing the idea about the population. Here, I have to be detailed after mentioning this. Let's see. NY's population is the double of LA's. Here's another major difference. Now, let's move. Another major difference between LA and NY is the transportation. So, what's with the transportation? Let's specify. People in New York use public transportation unlike, unlike is indicating a difference. So, unlike the people in Los Angeles who mostly drive their own cars. Now, I have mentioned the differences. Let me see what comes next. And of course, it's the last part, which is the conclusion. In conclusion, New York City and Los Angeles have many differences in spite of having some similarities. Both are attractive to people from all over the world. Here, I have generalized the idea. I have concluded it with a very simple description about the two cities, and I'm done. I'll give you a further task to help you. I want you, my dear students, to write a comparison and contrast paragraph between any two countries, places, or school subjects. It could be any two things from your choice. I'll ask you to refer to your book, English 808 Project Success 2, page 126, 126, for the proper structure, as we have did it previously. Now we came to the end of our lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and it was interesting to you. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Goodbye.